right so here's a a short piano tutorial of this song riptide um <clears throat> it's a really nice song for understanding groove because a groove comes from a rather different instrument if you're a pianist it comes from a ukulele right so the style of playing that instrument itself is completely different than the piano or even a guitar it's very it's a very unique instrument so if you try to play those songs on a non ukulele it's going to definitely help you improve your rhythmic chops greatly right so when i transcribe the song what you'll find is you'll you'll have a rhythm which is going on like this so i think this sounds quite annoying to listen to if you're a pianist now the ukulele player is basically i'm imagining him doing something like this tang tang tagada dang dang tagada dang dang tagada dang dang tagada dum the reason why it sounds so cool on that instrument is because of the two different kinds of strokes you have on the uke which is the down stroke and the up stroke both of them tend to have a very drum like quality like a drummer using two sticks it creates a very unique vibe so on a, on the ukulele and it's also easier to play so it's more natural for the guitar player to strum up and down strokes now on the piano you don't have that luxury you'll have to do right so if i count the patterns which are phrased it's 1 e and a 2 e and a and then it repeats for 3 and the 4 so we count this as straight 16th notes so 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a 1 e and a 2 e and a right and a 4 e and a so when the ukulele plays it sounds very percussive that's because we are we are in this very groovy domain of 16th notes or semi quaver groove so he goes 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a and the chords are b flat minor and a flat major then d flat major and then you stay on d flat major once more the sco- the song scale is on d flat major <clears throat> okay so you go pam pa ba ba bam 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 now i'm sure a lot of you will get this just by listening to what i'm doing or maybe you've already heard the song however i would encourage you to go through my transcription wherein i've pointed out exactly where the hits are coming 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a 1 e follow the yellow colors 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and sorry wrong count 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a and so on and so forth that's the count so on the piano what i've come up with is a is a milder pattern which i don't think will sound as annoying or as busy as now on the piano the good thing is both our right hand and left hand are completely independent right so what i've thought of doing is do like a 1 2 3 4 and so on 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 and each chord will be for two counts so basically you're doing this on all the down beats one e and a two what am i doing i'm doing the root of the chord namely b flat and its fifth which is f then a e sorry a flat e flat then you go d flat a flat again d flat a flat repeats into two so my left hand will be one for pretty much the entire song now 
Now you could do the same thing in the right hand as I taught you earlier. like that you know an energetic vibe however i think it's going to be a bit tough for you it's also tough for me even i'm struggling to play it right now so what i would suggest is don't hit all the counts here because anyways you're juggling with the on beat or the down beat and the left hand so don't do the down beat in the right hand you can do one e and a two e and a and E and a. So whatever I marked in the second line is what you can play in your um, right hand, and you can probably ignore the one as well, which I marked here. I, I have marked it, but you can ignore that one which you're anyways doing in the left, right? So one E and a. So the root is always at the one, and the fifth is always at the. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and next. Now I still feel that the two e and is a bit, the uh, a, a bit too much. Ta da na. So to avoid that. You can just strike it at the e. So that's one e. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. So you cannot play. You need not play the hits at the and and the a, uh, which I have marked in dotted lines, so that you can avoid. So one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a one and a four e. Right, so just get the ands of the one, the e of the two, then the and of the three, and the e of the four. Let's see how that sounds. All we are trying to do is make it a bit more groovy and a bit more natural for you as a pianist. bring out that 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 triple triple hit flavor where he does it the e the and and the a uh, of the 2 and 4 you can instead of hitting the chord bang on you can spread out the chord using an arpeggio Let me slow that down. One E and a three E and a one E and a four E and a. Lot of times when we play arpeggios, especially people like me, we tend to swing it. you know without knowing so try to not swing it. it i don't think it's a swing song so if it was swung it would sound a little funny and oh, man now i forgot how to swing it there we go so try to not make it sound like that. i'm sure you all heard that this doesn't sound like the song right so straight 16 notes and the key is what you do in your left hand at 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and that consistent rhythm should keep going so the two options we have on the piano would be as i just said 1e and 2e and 3e and 4e and hit the and and the e and the other if you want to hit all the accents the and and then at the beat 2 you do the e and and a uh, you'll need to not hit the chord 
you'll have to do it as an arpeggio so whichever fingers are there and waiting you can use that to hit the chord this is without arpeggios quite cool as well right Just trying to play this and sing it, man. That's going to be really tough. I don't think I can do it right now, but I think I'm going to practice. And there are lots of bands which write like this. Um, you can listen a lot of guitar and banjo-driven bands like Mumford and Sons. That's a band you guys should check out. I think the groove is very similar. Uh, there's also Philip Phillips. Um, <clears throat> In my country, India, there are a lot of bands as well, uh, a lot of folk bands. So a lot of folk music is characterized by this very, very unique groove. Dun, 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 dun. So you want to play, let the listener feel that E and the E, uh, but not all the time. If you let them feel it here and there, it would make the music a lot more exciting. And all of these songs are just... Uh, very simple to uh, to perform and dance over right the moment you hear this i'm sure you all want to tap your foot or just go crazy so that's primarily because of a very very catchy rhythm which is going on now in addition to this i've written down another chord progression for the bridge which is the exact same rhythm i just showed you but the chords are different it's b flat minor a flat major <coughs> D flat major like how we did for verse and chorus and then you add the G flat or F sharp major as well so that's B flat minor A flat major D flat major and G flat major so that's only at the bridge that happens like once right and there's one really cool ukulele tune which uh, goes something like Sorry, what? E, so starting on E flat. Ta na 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 ta na. Ta na. Ta na 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 ta na ta na 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 ta. I think that's a better way of playing it. Probably don't use your thumb. bridge so after the second chorus you have that ukulele playing um, i don't know i think it goes on four times and then it goes on to your bridge then the bridge goes back to the chorus and yeah so it's a nice groovy song and uh, <clears throat> all the best playing it i've given you like two options on the piano and if all the rhythms sort of are very difficult for you and if you want to play it and sing it and if that's not really happening perhaps you can just do a rhythm like this so to to wind up i'm just going to show you like the easier rhythm which i'm sure any of you who are just starting off with the piano can get with keep the same left hand so perhaps you could start with this and then do the more groovy rhythm right that's the groovy one so slightly advanced the simpler one and so on and so forth right so all the best with riptide quite a nice song enjoy and uh, try to jam also with a drummer or um, try to use this in a band it'll be nice to play this song in a band i can't wait to try it um, to find a drummer yeah cheers
Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications. Leave us a comment for any other video you'd like us to do next. And don't forget to share the video with all your musician friends. Cheers.